Hi everybody, it's Bubbly4041 and I'm back with my next video. In this video I'm going to go over my photo show results for six different photo shows that I have entered in this past spring. Uh, due to the prevalence of COVID-19, a lot of live shows have been cancelled for this year and because of that, in response to that, photo shows have really picked up on a variety of platforms, generally Instagram, Facebook being the two biggest platforms that I've seen and some also happening on Smugbug but generally originating on either Instagram or Facebook first and then having entries uploaded onto that uh, site for the show. So most of these shows um, did happen either through direct messaging on Instagram or through Facebook uh, for the shows that I did enter this spring. I will let you know what the shows were called and who hosted them. One of them I don't remember who the hosts were, um, and then one of them I only remember generally one of the hosts. So I will let you know that before we get started because there's a lot of ribbons here from six different shows, so it's kind of a lot to go through. We're going to start from lowest to highest, um, lowest being... 6th place. There is one 7th place, but I'll get to him later. Uh, and then other than that, 6th place and going up. I did put them, if a horse got a 1st place, that is where they are located. I kind of organized them based on the highest placing that they received, so we're going to go from lowest to highest. The photo shows that I entered this spring, four of the six of them were held by Summerstorm Briars. Um, she did an absolutely fabulous job hosting photo shows this spring. She did get quite a bit of lashback um, from the entrance and from people and with other stresses happening in her life. She has discontinued her photo show series for now. We'll see if it ends up picking back up this fall or maybe next year, but she did host four, four, excuse me, four photo shows this spring. And she did a really great job, and I had a really great time entering those photo shows. And they kind of evolved from the first one um, all the way to the fourth one. They kind of became more specific and more generalized with a larger entrant pool. So that was really cool to see. And then the other two photo shows, one was called Spring Fling Photo Show, and that was hosted by Birch Creek Studios. And there was two other people with her. Owlbrook Studios, maybe Owl Something Studios, um, that hosted that photo show with her and helped to judge that photo show. And then I also entered the Peb Spring Fling photo show, but I do not remember who hosted that photo show um, or who the judges were, so I apologize about that. Um, for the Summer Storm Briar photo shows, the first one that she held was the Summer Storm photo show for 2020. That was in March of this year. And then she went from that to Hello Spring photo show, which has a lot of cute little pastel ribbon colors, which you'll see as I uh, go over the results, and it's really cute. Um, that was her April photo show. And then she had one in May called May Madness photo show 2020. Uh, and that one, I did not have any traditional results for that because I was the traditional um, OF traditional judge for that show. So all of uh, my results for that show are kind of minis, um, some collectability, and my one custom. And then the last photo show that she hosted was Suns Out, Ponies Out for June of 2020. And um, that one, I think I judged mini for that show. So I had some OF traditional placings from that show. It kind of flip-flopped there. Um, so that, that's enough of an intro for you guys, just giving you a intro to what the shows are, and then I'll go over the ribbons, um, just so you can kind of have an idea of where the ribbons are coming from as we go through them. So we're going to start from lowest to highest. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so starting over here on the lowest is this guy. This is Tartan. He's laying on his side because he likes to fall down a lot. Um, he's the classic 2019 new classic rearing mustang mold from Briar. Um, he's just the regular run blue roan. Really nice guy. I did win him, um, actually from Heartless Deceptions when a prize um, in another photo show. So that was pretty cool that he's been showing for me in photo shows. And he did end up getting a sixth place in the Suns Out, Ponies Out photo show in Briar Mustang out of 69 entries. So that was pretty cool. And then this little girl, this is Modern Art. She's my Briar uh, so stablemate Belgian mare. She got a sixth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. For that one and the Spring Fling photo show hosted and judged by Birch Creek Studios, I do not have the entrant, um, entrant numbers, the entry numbers in the different classes. And for the Peb Spring Fling photo show, I do not remember uh, what classes those horses were in <laughs> for their placings, so I do apologize for that. The other ones are pretty well documented, so she ended up getting a sixth place. And then we have my beautiful boy here. This is Heartless Deceptions, aka Desi. He's my custom by Deborah Brown of the UK. Um, really lovely guy. He's an older model. He's actually 10 years old now, which is crazy. 
but he still does pretty well, and he actually ended up getting three six places in three different photo shows. Um, he got a six place in, let me see, flip this page over here. He ended up getting a six place in the May, Ma May Madness photo show out of 15 entries. He got a six place in Hello Spring, and then he got a six place in the Peb uh, Spring Fling photo show. And for the May Madness, it was out of 15 entries. And for the Hello Spring, it was out of 16 entries, both of which were the custom gated class. So we did pretty good. And then we have this guy over here. Um, this is my beautiful one-of-a-kind model um, by Cheryl Leisure. He's a stone standing giraffe. I will try to not go over who everybody is because that will take a lot of time over this video, but this is Dipped in Gold. He got a sixth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. I really wish that he would place better. Um, his dapples are amazing, um, but I think that there's just other molds out there and, and breeds out there that are a little bit better than him, but uh, I really got him for quite a steal and his, his color is, is really something, so proud for that placing. Let me go on to some little guys over here. This is Artifice. He's my standing briar standing thoroughbred. He got a sixth place in the May Madness Model Horse Photo Show in the mini thoroughbred and standard bread class out of 47 entries. This is Cityscape. She got a sixth place in the May Madness uh, Photo Show in mini European Warm Blood out of 51 entries. And then she got a fifth place in the uh, Peb Spring Flame Photo Show. This is my Briar Companion donkey. This is Sprite. He got a fifth place in the Peb Spring Fling. Oh, excuse me. Look, reading the wrong ribbons. He got a fifth place in the Suns Out Ponies Out photo show in the Briar Donkey class. Um, and that was out of 16 entries. And then the ribbon that I was reading before belongs to this guy. This is Blazing Comet. And he got a fifth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. Moving on to one of my little guys. This is Faith. She's a 2014 designer chip stone. Really cute girl. She got a fourth place in the Suns Out, Ponies Out model horse photo show. This one was in a more specific stone decorator fantasy class. She's me, I'm not even focused on her. And it was out of eight entries. And then she got a fifth place in the... Let me see if I can read it here. I have it all written down, so I'm just going to refer to that from time to time. She got a fifth place in the Summer Storm photo show from March in just a generalized fantasy class out of 44 entries. That's pretty good. And then we have this guy. This is Ambulare. He's my 2012 stone design horse. Tennessee walking horse dude. And he got a fourth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. We have Gloria in the middle. She's a custom by Monica West, 2014 Giselle Custom. She got a fourth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. And then we have uh, Divine by Design. He's my Ambrose model, and he got a fourth place as well in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. So those three all got fourths from that same photo show. And then moving over here, this is my Acadia model, Foxcroft. And he got a sixth place in the Suns Out, Ponies Out photo show. And his sixth place was from a collectability class. And it was for web specials out of 38 entries. And then he ended up getting a fourth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. Over here, this is Twist and Shout. She's a stone weanling. Pretty cute. And she got a fourth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. And then this is one of my... Nice ideal stock horse models. Um, this is Through the Grapevine. He's a 2012 one of a kind, and he got a fourth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. I'm assuming in the quarter horse class, but I don't know for sure. And then we're moving on to some more minis over here. I do apologize, my lighting is not spectacular. Uh, this is a little briar, leave it in gray, walking Arabian mare. Uh, this is in the spotlight. She got a fifth in the May Madness Model Horse Photo Show in Mini Arabian at a 41 entries. And she got a third in the Peb Spring Fling Photo Show. And then these three guys all got third in the May Madness Photo Show, all in the mini division. Uh, Brighton, who is on... Um, who's the Morgan, the Generation 1 Morgan Stallion. I have renamed him Harrington but Brighton was his name at the time of the show entry, and he got a third in Mini Morgan out of 18 entries. And then we have Paloma. She's really cute. She's just a little stone... stone-designed chip pony mare. 
She got a third in Mini American Pony out of 21 entries. And then this guy is my Briar Claws model. I call him Dotcom, and he got a third in Mini Other Pony out of 13 entries. Moving on to the big guys again, this is Raiden Solo. And he got a th uh, couple placings, actually. He got a, f a sixth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. He got a fifth place in the Suns Out Ponies Out photo show in Stone Park Arabian out of 20 entries. And then his highest placing was a third in the Spring Fling photo show in Part Arabian. And we have this guy. This is Frosted. Um, he is a limited run of 100 pieces made in 2006. He's a factory custom thoroughbred. He has a turned head and a raised leg. And a nice dapple gray kind of color. He got quite a few, uh, two different third places and a fourth. He got a fourth in the Suns Out Ponies Out photo show for Halter in the Stone Thoroughbred Standard Bread class out of 16 entries. And then he ended up getting a third in that same show, but in the collectability portion. He was in the Stone Runs 500 or less, and he got a third out of 25 entries. And then he also ended up getting a third in the Spring Fling photo show in just the Generalized Thoroughbred Standard Bread class. This guy is one of my newest models um, that I have, and I will do kind of a closer-up video for you guys. I don't dare kind of move him out of the organization that he's in right now. This is my newest-ish model that I have received. He is a 2012 limited run of seven pieces. He's factory customized with a new, a little bit of a different main tail and forelock. He's a really nice, deep, glossy, almost like a... The light's really brightening him up in the shot, but he's quite a bit darker in real life, and he's almost like a sooty buckskin to a bay kind of color, and he has dapples everywhere. He's a really nice model. His name is It's Corona Time, because I got him during uh, the quarantine, the during the quarantine while we're in this pandemic, so that's his show name. He ended up getting two uh, placings for the Suns Out, Ponies Out model horse photo show. I don't think I had him to be able to enter him in the other shows, but... I don't know off the top of my head, but anyway, he got a sixth place in, I think, just Quarter Horse Breed. He got a sixth place um, just in Stone Quarter Horse out of 35 entries, and then he got a third place in his collectability class, which was Stone Runs 20 or less, and that was out of 37 entries. This is pretty cool. It's a really nice, really nice looking model. And then behind him, we have my Santa Surprise Unicorn. Uh, he got a third place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show, I'm assuming in fantasy, but again, I don't know for sure. And then over here we have some more minis. I'm going to adjust my positioning here. This is my little briar rearing and illusion dude, uh, Strawberry Avalanche. He got a third place in, let's see, I have it written down here, the Peb Spring Fling photo show. And then he got a second place in the May Madness photo show and many other stock out of 16 entries. And then we have behind him my Briarfest 2019 single day stalemate model Andante. His name is Powerplay and he got a third place in the Spring Fling photo show and other draft. And then he got a second in the May Madness photo show and many other pure mixed breeds out of 15 entries. Onto some other second places here. This is Red Rocket. He's just the newest 2020 Stalemate Surprise Icelandic dude. Uh, he got a second place in the May Madness photo show in the other gated class out of 21 entries. The mini other gated class. That was separated into just minis. In that same photo show, this guy, uh, my mini uh, Mariah's Boone, Carbon Copy. He got a second place in the other draft out of just three entries, but still, you know, still placed, so wasn't totally last. And then this little guy, this is Spotted Charm. Um, he's been with me quite some time since, like, 2012. I've had him for a while. He got a second place in the May Madness photo show in the mini... Let me check. I think it's uh, Gated in Spanish Foals out of 17 entries. And then he also got a second place in the Spring Fling photo show just out of other folds. And I, again, I don't have the entry uh, numbers for that show, but still pretty proud of him. And then back here is my notorious, my Schleich donkey that I think I bought for $7 <laughs> um, at Obachon Hardware a number of years ago. And she got a second place in the mini exotics and long ears class out of 19 entries in the May Madness photo show. So good job on her. And then this is, this is what I was talking about. Um, 
the ribbon color difference. This is one of the ribbons for the Hello Spring photo show hosted by Summerstorm Briars. This is when she did the nice pastel colors. Um, so this is also a show hosted by her. You'll notice the horse and the ribbons is the same, um, but I really like the pastel type ribbon color. It's, it's a little bit different and it's just a really nice color uh, selection, I think, for this show. So this was from April and this little guy, this is Eagle Spirit. It's a Nice little briar running Mustang dude. He got a second place in just mini stock out of 64 entries. And then this guy is Pizzazz. Um, he's the 2018 Stalemate Club Aiden model. He got a second place in mini sport and I don't remember how many entries that was out of, but still proud of him. And then moving over here, uh, some big guys again. This is Stormfront. He's my briar uh, 2017 Premier Club Duende model. Bottom second hand, and he got a second place in the Spring Fling photo show just for um, other Spanish or other gated. Let me flip it over here. My cheat sheet over. Um, it was in other gated, second in other gated. It's pretty good. And then this is my newer Stone Morgan. Um, this is King of Thieves. And his original name is Cavalier. It's a 2014 one of a kind. Really lovely guy. Um, really nice, excuse me, rich dark coloring on him that the camera really wants to kind of wash him out a little bit, but his color is really quite a bit darker in real life. He's a nice, nice model. Um, he got third place in the Hello Spring photo show in the Stone Morgan class out of 11 entries. And then he ended up getting a second place in the Spring Fling photo show just in the Morgan class. And then over here, we're kind of on to second places now. Um, this is Heart and Soul. She is a stone um, limited edition model from 2012. 30 pieces made. She was made for Equilocity, or at least I got her at Equilocity in 2012. She got a couple different placings. Um, she got a sixth place in, I think, the Peb. Yep, yeah, sixth place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. She got a third place in the Hello Spring photo show. And that was in Stockfuls, uh, specifically, of 35 entries. And then she got a second place in just the Summer Storm photo show from March in just generalized full class out of 46 entries. And then we have this girl. This is my Glossy Cody. I am the original owner of her. And she got um, a lot of second places and one third. She got a third place in Breed for the Suns Out Ponies Out show. She got a third place in Briar Paint out of 64 entries. She got a second in that same show in the Collectability class for Collectability Club models out of 45 entries. Her other second places um, were similar to be in that same um, class, the Collectors Club just models for Collectability. In that same class, she got a second place in the Hello Spring show, and she got a second place in the May Madness show as well. In the Hello Spring show, there was 30 entries. In the May Madness show, there was 48. So she got quite a few. Uh, um, second place, three different times um, in a pretty good class under different judges. It was different judges almost every time, too. So that was pretty cool. On to two more stone ishes here. Um, this is Reckless Abandon, the Bay uh, Blanket Appaloosa here. He is kind of a, a funky guy. We don't know what year he was from or exactly if he's a one of a kind or not. I can't find any information on him. He looks like he has a faint uh, signature on his belly, but it has been uh, wiped away or degraded. I can't read it. Um, there's not enough there to read about what it was supposed to say. So, assumed one of a kind. I'm not really sure. He does have really nice coloring. And he got a fifth place. I love this purple ribbon. I think it's great. Um, the fifth place in the Hello Spring photo show, and that was just in the Stone Appaloosa. I think out of 11 entries, but let me just take a quick look and double check for you guys. Yeah, it was out of 11 entries in Stone Abbey, and it got a second place in the Spring Fling photo show just in the generalized, just Abbey class. So that was pretty cool. And then next to him is my other Stone Appaloosa. This is Risky Business. Um, he is the a 2012 one of a kind. Really nice guy. He got a fourth place, um, in the, uh, was it a fourth place? Yeah. He got a fourth place in the Suns Out, Ponies Out photo show, I think in Abbey. Um, yep, in Stone Appaloosa. This time in the Suns Out, Ponies Out show, it had 18 entries in it. And then he actually ended up getting a second place um, in the Hello Spring 
photo show in the Appy class of 11 entries. So he got a fifth place and he got a second place in that same show. So it's pretty cool. I think one of my models that got the most ribbons for this entire, for the entire six shows is this guy. This is my Stone Arabian. He's a 2016 designer horse in a nice flea bitten gray with a straightened head. I really like him quite a bit. Um, he got, I think, placed in just about every single show. Um, let me grab my cheat sheet and have that kind of closer on hand here. He got a sixth place in the Suns Out Ponies Out show in the Stone Arabe class out of 14 entries. And then he got a third place in the Spring Fling photo show in just the Arabian class. He got a second place in the Summer Storm photo show from March in just the Generalized Light class out of 54 entries. And then he got a second place in the Hello Spring Stone, um, Hello Spring photo show in Stone Arabian out of seven entries. And then his kind of highest placing was a second place in the Peb Spring Fling photo show. And in that show, he actually got the Light Breed Reserve Champion. So that's pretty cool. He got a little ribbon that says Reserve Champion. So that was pretty great. Moving on to, this is going to be our first places now. Um, this little girl, this is Breath of Heaven. She's a little designer horse from Stone. Nice little bay. And she got a sixth place in the Peb Sprinkling photo show. Fifth place in the Suns Out Ponies Out show in Stone Foals out of 31 entries. And a first in the Hello Spring photo show uh, in just Light Foals. And that was out of 27 entries. Next to her is one of my only stone pebbles. I only have two of them. This is a class act. She is a limited of five models produced in 2008 with the original name Jane Austen. She's a nice model. Nice glossy bay with some purpley undertones and a nice turned head customization and a tail customization to be shorter. And she got a second place. Yep, second place in the Spring Fling photo show in European Pony. And then she got a first place in the May Madness photo show in Mini European Pony. Um, and that was out of, let me see, five entries. Just five entries, but still, still pulled a first. Then we have some more minis down here. Uh, we have Sandcastle in the back. He's my briar little mule there. And he got a first place in the Hello Spring photo show just in the other breed class out of 28 entries. Mini other breed class out of 28 entries. And then we have my Briar Tennessee Walking Horse Mare here. She got a second place in the Peb Sprinkling Photo Show. And she got a first in the May Madness Photo Show in the Mini Tennessee Walking Horse, Missouri Fox Trotter, and Rocky Mountain Horse class out of 17 entries. And her name is Marching On. And his name is Sandcastle, Little Mule. I don't know if I mentioned that was his name. And then up front here, this is Roan Ranger. He's one of my Briar Lying Down Foals. He got a first in the May Madness photo show in the mini draft and pony folds class out of 17 horses. And then in the back there is Tango. He's my one of my um, just a regular run Briar Pre Ruby and Paso. And he got a first place in the May Madness photo show in the mini Passos class. And that was out of 26 entries. This guy is the model that actually got the lowest placing in the show at one of the shows. Um, this is Into the Unknown. He is a 2009 one-of-a-kind-ish. I love his eyes. And I really think that this... Yeah, I'm gonna get him more centered here. There's a really good view of what his eyes actually look like. They are blue. They're both blue. But they really don't show up great sometimes in pictures. They look more of like a hazel green color. So they really, he really does have blue eyes. Um, and I just like his color and his markings. And he got a 7th place in the Hello Spring Model Horse Photo Show. And that was in the Quarter Horse, uh, Stone Quarter Horse class out of 18 entries. But then he ended up placing 1st in the Spring Fling Photo Show. And that was just in the Generalized Quarter Horse class. So, good job on him. He did a lovely job. He always is one that, he does decent in photo shows sometimes. But he doesn't really place all that well in live shows. That I've taken him to so far. This guy is a very special model to me. Um, he's one of the horses that I have spent, excuse me, spent the most money on in my collection to date. He's a really lovely 
2019 One of a Kind by Audrey Dixon on the Foundation Quarter Horse Mold. He has amazing details, um, really lovely detailed eyes. His color is it's almost silvery, but I've had people tell me it's kind of just a chestnut. Really nice shaded color, dapples just galore, um, etched markings, just all the bells and whistles that you would want in a really nice stone model. And uh, he, have, I'm not, I haven't had a chance to do a live show with him yet. I'm excited to do a live show with him. I know this mold can kind of be iffy with judges, but, you know, I love his customization, his color enough to, to kind of go with it, whether he does well or not. But he's, does, he's done pretty well in the photo shows that I've entered him in. So for his placings, he got a third in the Suns Out, Ponies Out photo show in his collectability class, which was the Stone One of a Kind class, and that had 28 entries. In that same show, the Suns Out, Ponies Out show, he also got a third in the Stone Other Part class out of 22 entries, and then he got a second in the Peb Spring Fling photo show, as well as the Stock Reserve Champion for that show. So just like Breccia, my Stone Arabian, got a Light Reserve Champion, he got a second and then he got the Stock Reserve Champion, which was pretty cool. And then his highest placing was a first in the Hello Spring photo show from April, and that was in the Other Pure Mixed Breed class out of 26 entries. So really nicely done for him. You can kind of see his dapples back there. They're really nice. And then this is my the next model. Um, similar to my ish there, you guys probably haven't seen this guy yet. He's one of my newer models that I bought earlier this year. He is a stone trotting drafter. He's a 2011 one of a kind. His original name is Frank, but I've called him Finnegan's Wake. And he has a crazy, crazy detailed mane. You can kind of see that there. His forelock is pretty cool. Um, really nice detailed eyes, and he's a minimal to black Tobiano Pinto. Just a lovely model. Um, my first on the trotting drafter mold, so that's pretty cool. And he got a sixth place in the Summer Storm photo show from March, just in the generalized draft class out of 44 entries. He got a third place in the Spring Fling photo show um, in the American draft class. And they ended up, he ended up getting a first in the Peb Spring Fling photo show as well. So really happy with him. And then this is my Stone Arabian, I mean not Arabian, Andalusian, a uh, really nice dark sooty buckskin color from him. And he is just has really nice subtle dapples, just a really deep rich color, the nice, the nice lattice work on the mane. And he got a sixth place in the Suns Out, Ponies Out photo show. And then he got in the Stone and Illusion Lusitano class, that was out of 11. He got a third in the Summer Storm photo show from March, that was just in the generalized Spanish class out of 38 entries. He got a second in the Hello Spring photo show in the Andalusian Lusitano class out of 49 entries. I think that was both Stone and Briar together. And then he ended up getting a first um, in the Spring Fling photo show. And he actually got the reserve champion for the Gated Spanish division in that show, but I don't have a ribbon for it. Um, I only got the first place ribbon for him. I didn't get anything to show that he got a reserve champion. So, But it did... It was listed that he got the reserve champion for the Gaiden Spanish division, so that was pretty cool. That was him. And then we have this guy. This is my Stone American Saddlebred Glossy Chestnut, and his name is Sparks Will Fly. He got a third, sixth place. Sixth place in the Suns Out, Ponies Out show in the Stone American Saddlebred class out of 12 entries. And then he got a second... A second, excuse me. First in the Spring Fling photo show in just American Saddlebred. Um, and he got a first in the Hello Spring show in, again, Stone American Saddlebred. Compared to the June show, uh, the April show for Summer Storm Briars, that Hello Spring, only had three American Saddlebreds in the Stone American Saddlebred class compared to the 12 models that it had in June. So that's him. And then we have this guy. This is, I call him Night Fever. He is the Stone model um christmas waltz produced in 2012 i don't know exactly how many were made but he's a really lovely dark glossy bay high whites and he got a first in the peb spring fling photo show and then he also got a first in the spring fling photo show and other sport and similar to ferrero um i don't know if i mentioned his name is ferrero my Anna Lucian's name is ferrero by the way in case you didn't know 
And similar to him, this guy also got a reserve champion in the sports section, but I don't have any further ribbons to show you, just, just those. So, happy with him. And then we're going to move on to my three highest placings over here. Um, in the middle, we have Carlisle. He's my 2012 Briarfest raffle model. And he got a fifth place in the Suns Out Ponies Out photo show in the collectability class for just Briarfest models out of 87 entries. So a fifth place is pretty great um, with that amount of competition. And there were some other really rare models in there too. So not complaining with a fifth place. And he has ended up getting two first places as well. He got a first place in the Summer Storm photo show from March in the Generalized Pony class with 47 entries. And he also got a first in the Hello Spring photo show in April in the Other Pony class, and that was out of 22 entries. And then next to him right here, this is my Stone Morgan um, Spring Awakening. He's a 2013 design horse. He has done really well in photo shows this spring. The highest that he's ever gotten in a live show has been a third. So he's done better in photo shows than he has um, in the live show scene, uh, which is fine. You know, I, I really do enjoy him and he's a nice model in my collection. So it's nice to see him do well, at least in the photo shows, if not on the live show uh, show ring table. So the lowest place in that he got this spring was a third place in the Suns Out Ponies Out show from June in the Stone Morgan class. That was out of 20 entries. He got a first in the Peb Spring Clean spring fling photo show and he also got a first in the hello spring photo show so you know how my other morgan my darker morgan there uh king of thieves he got a third in that show he got a first in that same show uh, in the stone morgan class out of 11 entries and he actually went on to win uh champion of the light breed division um in that same show so this was the little champion ribbon that she did for those that show and again i really like the just the spring colors the pink and the blue and really nice color choice um for that show and then finally we have kind of my biggest winner for any of the photo shows that i did um through instagram or facebook here this is princeton he is a little stone pebbles arabian He's from 2013. His original name is Waterford Crystal. He has a lot of customizations. His head is turned. His mane is different. His tail is different. And he is a stallion. And I've showed him as both an Arabian and a Walera pony. As an Arabian, he got a second in the Hello Spring photo show in the mini light breed class. I don't have how many entries were in that class um, written down. And then he ended up getting a first place in the... So this one was from the April show. And then he ended up getting a first place in the May Madness photo show in the mini other pony class with 13 entries. And that was as a Willera pony. So I think he kind of can do better. Kind of depends on what I have for other horses being entered and where he can fit. But he did really good as a Willera pony in that show. And that division was actually judged by Summer Storm Briar. So I really appreciate that uh, she really liked him as much as she did. So in addition to getting the first place in that show, he got um, the division champion for the uh, mini pony and other breed division champion. He got that. And that came with this little cute medallion type thing. And then it also